Hello, hello. Welcome back to the L Daily. I am happy you're here. I'm Ellen, and today is all about our dreams and dreaming big. My first question to you, and then we're going to dive into some deeper, deeper aspects, but what's the biggest dream you have that you are not even willing to admit to yourself? So I'm going to ask that again. So what's the biggest dream that you have that you haven't even admitted yet to yourself or maybe to others? I know I have them. And you know what? I'm all about being authentic. So I will say my biggest dream truly is to find that soul connection, my my partner, my, um, yeah, the one I'm going to grow old with. And I think I have a lot of other big dreams too. I want to make the world a better place. I want to grow this YouTube channel. I, I have so many dreams. I want to live on a lake. I want to retire early and be able to have such abundance that I can share it with others and really help people that need the financial abundance. But I, I really want to encourage others. So my list goes on with my dreams, my big dreams, but my biggest dream is really to have that connection with someone. And in the moment though, I'm okay where I'm at because what I found is I know I'm doing the right things. I just have to be okay that I am 43 and single. And, you know, in my twenties, I thought I would have been married by now, but I think maybe my dreams were to be single for some time and be able to grow my career, be able to travel the world like I did. And that in itself was a dream of mine that I maybe didn't even know. So that would be another question I'd love to ask you. Is there something that happened in your life that you were like, wow, I'm so glad that happened, you know, being grateful for maybe it's not what you envisioned, um, but it's even better. I guess that's the way I look at my current life situation. I was like, wow, it's not what I expected. You know, I didn't expect to have the hysterectomy, um, at 39. I really thought I would be a mom. I didn't expect to lose jobs and some of the things that I went through. I didn't expect, you know, I was about ready to sell a house and a big flood happened. <laughs> you know, a lot of things happen, right? I lost my brother to the tragic shooting. Didn't expect that. But all of these things that happen to us, whether good or bad, and often the bad is what allows us to be the better versions of ourselves, because when it is always good, you're not maybe growing as much. It's easy to be grateful, but it's it's a little bit harder to try to see the good and the challenges. So even for me, when I was just upset about that job I took, I was like, oh my gosh, it cannot be done quick enough. But I, lo I learned a lot in that time. Um there were some negative things that happened, right? I dove into my savings a lot. I was just feeling a little stressed on the financial side. But once you come through, you become a better version of yourself. So my my going back to the dream, blah, dreams aspect, I'm all over the place. But what I want to say is, you know, being your, your biggest dream that you have, this is a promise, hope, and new beginnings. So what dreams are making their way into your consciousness? What is it that you're dedicated to creating? While the manifestation may not be immediate, time will bring things to fruition. So trust in the whispering dreams of your destiny. Just as the new beginnings of a stream may one day flow into the vast ocean, something new is beckoning to be born. So dare deep and wide. Dream your future into reality. So that's where I'm kind of going back to, yeah, maybe this is not the dream you thought you would have, but it's it's going to happen. Like everything that is for you will happen. And in the meantime, express your own divinity. You know, allow yourself to really be who you are. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or uh, concepts, physiological concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive and loving yourself and others. So this is from my law of assumptions of just doing your best. I love that one. Another law is don't take things personally. So this one is don't, uh, yeah, so don't take anything personal. Be immune to others' opinions. And a lot of times I would get that too. It's like, well, how are you single? What's Even men will say that to me. What's wrong with you? Why are you still single? And I'm like, come on. So whatever it is in your life, I'm, I'm sharing my stuff so you can put it into your own situation because I know some of you are married or some of you are not dealing with the same things I am, but hopefully you can relate. So what others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you're immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. And I love that because I'm like, absolutely. Um, you know, the more you can not care what anybody else thinks, the better. On, on the flip side, do you ever find yourself making assumptions? I know it's human. I will say that I do that. 
I might see someone and make a quick judgment or maybe make an assumption before I seek to really understand where they're coming from or what they're about. So here's my little tip on you uh, or tip for you on this one. This also comes from the four agreements. I love that book. Um, I, I'll put a little link in it or link below, but this one's always about it's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. So another great little reminder, I have pulled our soul card is compassion. So the vibration of compassion shines through every cell, through every cell, and you're deeply uh, compassionate. Allow the light of your goodwill to shine to the world. Accept the care that the creator has for you. You're loved and immensely lovable. Your soul wants you to know true compassion starts with yourself. Gently, lovingly, and unconditionally accept, accept yourself just as you are. It isn't necessary to be perfect. And there's no one that you need to please but your higher self. So that goes again to, you know, I already said it, express your own divinity and don't uh, allow others opinion to affect you the more you can release judgments so again not making assumptions the more you can release judgments and negative beliefs about yourself the more true compassion you'll have for others be gentle with yourself cherish who you really are and it's time to release the guilt and shame because it no longer serves you so what do you need to release is there some guilt shame that you have i know i have things that i feel guilty about childhood or little things that i've done along the way where I wasn't maybe proud of what I did, but allowing to be like, you know what? I'm not going to hold on to that. Um, forgive yourself and others. Anytime you notice a negative thought about yourself crop up, immediately replace it with a positive. So that goes to our subconscious uh, aspect of, you know, really focusing on the present moment. moment. And when I find that I'm thinking negative, I'm overthinking, and we have so many thoughts in the day, right? I just start to hone in on, what I'm doing around me. You know, I feel my feet on the floor. I feel the sounds around me or hear the sounds around me and really just get into this, the positive um, conscious state instead of allowing your subconscious thoughts that might be negative coming up. So you really got to train that brain. It's like a muscle, muscle memory, or just like working out, you're building that muscle and the easier it gets. So Keep remembering that. Have compassion for yourself. Know that you are making a difference with others. You're a natural counselor. Um, people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. I wrote that down. Uh, take inventory of your life. You know, where are you at right now? Do you feel happy in all of your departments when it comes to career, love, family, friends? Um, you name it. You know it all. Take a look there. And then really think about what is it that your soul hungers for you know is it more nature is it more time with family and friends is it less time with family and friends you know what do you need um and how can you strive to have more moments like that so i hope that helps i know it was a lot there's so much more i wanted to share but um i do need to i took a little break from work and then i'm gonna get back to work so sending you lots of love and i will see you soon